Number 20, we are once again given a graph, and then here's the story. Gregory purchased the treadmill on a monthly installment plan. After three months, he still owes a balance of B dollars. And notice that the B dollars is on the y-axis. And then on the t-axis, this is the number of months. Okay? So, we are trying to figure out what does the slope mean in our context of the problem. Let's find out the slope first. So here is the line that we are talking about. Okay, let me just make it in red. Okay, here's the line. I would like to figure out the slope from the graph. I need to have two points. Let me use the first one right here at the beginning. As you can see, at this point, this is $400 when t is equal to zero. That means the treadmill must cost, must cost him $400 to begin with, okay? And then, as you can see, right here, when t is equal to 8, he doesn't know anything anymore. So that's a $0. Okay. And if you want to figure out the slope from the graph, you just have to count. Okay, you go down from 400 to 0. This is technically negative 400. And then from 0 to 8, this is just 8. So the slope from the graph this is going to be however many times we go up or go down divided by however many times we go to the right. So for the rise, it's going to be negative 400, and for the run, it's going to be 8. Negative 400 divided by 8 is negative 30. So at first, it cost him $400, and it took him 8 months to pay it off. So the slope right here, negative 50, this means he must be paying off, paying, paying off fifty dollars per month. Okay, and that's exactly choice B. He's paying off the purchase at a rate of fifty dollars per month. Once again, the slope represents the rate, and we got it. This is fifty, but then you see. The question is, doesn't have negative because he used the word right here, paying off. That's why I just say he's paying off at a, at a rate of $50 per month. That's it.